What is up everyone? Hope you're doing well. If you don't know me, my name is Ashan and welcome to the video. We're in a different setting than usual or relatively compared to the recent videos and there's good reason for that and I'll get to it. But let's start about let's start with what the day has been like, which will lead us into why I'm here. Started off a little rough because I woke up later than I was supposed to. It's because I slept later than I was supposed to and I had class, went to class, after class I had scheduled some time to print a poster for a science conference that I'm going to later this week. So I had to I had to print on the poster but then that process took way longer than it was supposed to and expected because the dimensions kept messing up, started getting frustrated, started getting stressed. I'm like I have to go to go get my hair cut so I'm like oh my god you know I'm, I'm over here in my head trying to get that shit sorted and then I go run and get my hair cut which I got too late it's okay before that I was supposed to drop off an Amazon return which has been fucking lingering for a, for a couple of weeks so I really had to get it done and I was supposed to do that before I got the haircut but since the poster stuff too, took too long I had to do it after the haircut but we got that done and following that I got home and just um, refreshed and stuff but you know my brain though was very stressed and I could feel like throughout my body I was just very agitated frustrated in traffic I'm like dude like why the fuck are people driving so slow blah blah blah, blah. like all these thoughts in my head right and I know I'm not those thoughts like naturally that's not who I am like that's not me that's not the real me real me is nice and kind and patient that's that's who I really am and I had to really bring myself back and ground myself to remind that but yo I'll tell you this yo in that moment when that's happening it's so difficult to do that like I know that's what I want to do I know that's what I'm like putting my energy towards but it's so hard to do guys oh my god it's fucking annoying sometimes and that's why when I got home and you know the thing is I have so much to do still like I have a lot of stuff that I had planned that I want to get done before I leave for the conference class homework another project stuff blah, 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 blah. list goes on you know whatever and this is how life is this is how life is supposed to be like life is busy and we're supposed to find moments and pockets of time where we can bring ourselves and really ground ourselves so we can give our best to the pieces of works that we're taking on and have on our plate so I was like yo my brain is um, is feeling like feeling agitated restless and I'm jumping from one thought to another and the weather was absolutely amazing so I made the executive decision that I was gonna go chill in the woods for a few minutes for a few minutes meaning like a good half hour minimum and that's the reason why we're in the setting that we are let me let me show you around a little bit yeah dude this place is a few minutes uh well it's a, it's only like a mile out from from where i live so usually you know i'd run here but i wanted to bring my camera and like my journals and and my book with me so i was like okay let me just drive instead so i made the drive a couple minutes and i've been here for for some time now i just read some of my book and I feel so much better even you can probably feel it in in my in my the way that I'm the way that I'm speaking is very different than how I would have about maybe 30 minutes ago it would have been very like quick uh, high-pitched and it's very interesting for me to see the difference in my speech patterns when I'm nervous or excited or restless versus when I'm feeling very calm and composed and I'm breathing right like I'm taking good breaths and I'm not like you know it's hard to do it's really hard to do and sometimes I have to disconnect really hard and go away from the environment that I'm in to find that balance which I haven't done recently and today I just felt the urge to do it so here I am but yeah I feel good and 
Oh, we're about five minutes into the video. So yeah, today's reflection topic has mainly just been how to continue to bring yourself back to the present moment and ground yourself so you're not restless, so you're not jumping from one thought to another, that you're not letting your impatience or agitation or frustration about very minor things get in the way to do what you actually want to do and you have the heart and time to do it. Honestly, I just be stressing myself out sometimes, you know, like for real, that that really be the case. And I'm, I'm trying really hard to work on it. I'm, I'm, I promise y'all, like I'm trying. And of course there's roadblocks, of course there's slowdowns, of course there is times where I don't completely follow through on, on the habits, right? But one thing that I will do always is persevere. And no matter what, no matter how many times we fall down, we're always gonna get back up. There's some commotion going on in the woods. It's probably just an animal. But yeah, I that's that's what today's been like. That's what I've been feeling right now. And if there's anything that I can leave you with in this video. The issue is not that you have thoughts that are taking you in different places and different directions. The issue is the addiction that we have to the emotions that are induced by these thoughts or specific thoughts. So for instance, specific past experiences induce certain emotions in our body and over time, if we keep repeating that story in our head, we do get addicted to those emotions. And that's, I mean, we get addicted to emotions in general. I mean, that's why we chase the next high, right? Like we chase the next better thing that's gonna make us feel like, oh my God, like I feel so accomplished. Addiction to emotions is something that's a, it's a, it's a human nature, but then the question becomes like, which emotions are you, are you gonna wanna be addicted to? And how are you gonna break your addictions to the, to, the, to the ones that you don't want in your life anymore? Or don't want to be addicted to per se if they're not serving you well. So like, you know, the emotions of stress, anxiety, those things specifically. In my case, in my case, for your case, you'll have to figure that out for yourself. But if I can, but if I can leave anything in the in this video, that is that it's gonna be hard. Of course, it's gonna be hard. Whatever it is that you're trying to do to better yourself, it's not gonna be easy, and that's exactly what's gonna make it worth it in the end too. Except there's no end. It's a never-ending process, and there's always going to be room to grow. There's always going to be room to improve, which means that you can get stressed out or like you can let your mind get boggled down by minor inconveniences or minor roadblocks that you encounter on a day-to-day -day basis. Like your external reality doesn't have to affect your internal state of being at all times. Of course, major events, of course, they will, they will affect it, but for minor inconveniences, especially like something where the poster is not printing right like i have to remind myself like yo this is a very small thing like it's gonna be okay like calm calm down bro like calm down <laughs> and just breathe just breathe oh and one thing i was gonna say is the issue is not that we have these thoughts that take us in different places the issue is that we let them and we don't bring ourselves back to the present moment and bring our focus back to what's in front of us and that's the challenge that I want to work on. And if I, like I said, if I can leave you with anything, that's the challenge that you should aspire or, or, or try to work through is whenever you have those thoughts about the past experiences, acknowledge them. Be like, all right, I'm thinking about this thing that made me feel this way at that time, but I'm not there anymore. So let me bring myself back to the present moment. Let me focus on what's in front of me right now. That's, that, that's one. And then the other flip side is if you're focusing too much on the future, which I also do because I'm like, oh my God, I gotta do this, I gotta do that, I gotta do this, I gotta do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's, it's, it's basically the same thing, just focusing on a very different aspect of, of or different part of life. And even in that case, then, you, then I have to uh, remind myself, or you should also remind yourself that, yo, the future is in flux, has not happened yet, 
And the only thing I have is the now. I don't, I have all the time. I don't need to worry about what's gonna happen in two days, in three days, in four days, or even in a few hours. I just need to focus on the now and bring myself back to the moment where I have full control over my actions. Whereas in the future, you don't know what's gonna happen. You don't know what's gonna be affecting you or what's gonna be going on in general where your actions might be very different from what you expect right now. Past, you can't go back and change it, bro. So really the only place where we get to control us or control our actions is the present moment. And that's what we have to keep bringing ourselves back to. It's hard, difficult, of course not easy. And even even with like months of practice and like, you know, meditating um, or getting into meditation a couple years ago, since then, like, I've grown a lot, but there's still so much to do. There's still so much to learn and so much to delve deeper into, like, internally and exploring how I can continue to become the best version of myself. All right, uh, we're, oh, wow, we're 10, 10 plus minutes in. If you made it this far into the video, I truly appreciate you tuning in. Hopefully, you got something out of the video. If it resonated, let me know in the comments below. And yeah, I hope you all have a good one. I'll catch you in the next video.